Yeah, I agree. Every, every single word he's saying is 100% true. I agree with it in every single capacity. I'm here. All right. All right. Sorry about that, guys. We got it. I'm we here. got it. We got it. First match of the day is Clark versus Briarcliff University. This is one of the best matchups we will probably see the entire tournament. I mean, yeah. of course, Clark was uh, the team that went 3-0 and yesterday, winning all of their matches. Briarcliff, I believe they went 1-2, and but we kind of got to snub them. They got one of the hardest uh, runs of last night. So yeah, it's absolutely. Definitely not an understatement to call them one of the better teams in this tournament. And for both of these teams being top four, this is going to be an absolute banger. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, strength of schedule is was definitely not on Briarcliff's side yesterday, but they put up a fight every single time, and they gave us a show. Even in the losses, they gave us a really good show. But both of these, te both of these two teams ending on a win yesterday um, after some hard-fought games, this is, you know, <clears throat> the caliber of the teams we have in this conference. Like we said before, this is day two of the opening land weekend. Opening land weekend. It's it's the start of the season. You know, this is that cool, awesome, hot season opener that we're looking to see. And <clears throat> the player on the screen right now, aim, an absolute aim god. As as soon as I say that, cast your curse a little bit. Freight, the indomitable force. We go and stop that up. Aster Curse getting started off early in the day. Briar Cliff with a quick plant onto the B site. The pistol round meta fright trying to push up a little oh, bit further. Push oh. Fade off. But Fade gets the frag and stays close. Clark University wants to try to circle around, maybe go for this retake. Hariri might be able to catch one here. Sees the head of one. Catches Kang. Oh my barely. God. Soup gets the refrag, <laughs> but the trades are coming in. And that will be Konichi. around. Konichi oh. jumps around with a very nice headshot. Classic close range. Briar Cliff take round one. Yeah, that was so, so back and forth. Very, very action-packed, very heavy, as come to expect from both of these two teams. And I just want to comment, Milk, once again, coming up clutch in the corner on this fade. Very good player. Love to see what, like, love to see. Whenever they get brainstorming is when they are very dangerous. And Hariri... Claiming those frags there towards the end was really nice. So, like, now with this buy coming in, I do... Like, this is something that Briarcliff loves to do in the earlier rounds. They love to... If, if they get that win, they immediately get this very split type of buy with, like, different guns for every character, right? It's not like, oh, we're all going to go Spectres. Oh, we're all going to go uh, Stingers, you know? Like, they have such a interest. They have such interesting game plans. They come out with these early first five rounds. Uh equipment wise and clark i'm, I'm gonna assume they're gonna opt to save so far we have a two specters bulldog and a judge that means bcu is <coughs> going to be the upper handed team in every fight they take with hariri buying a guardian as well whether it's long range medium range or short range bcu has the advantage because clark all they have is classics and then jonah deciding to step up with a sheriff and i mean the sheriff's fine but you're probably not gonna not gonna out shoot a guardian i mean hey i've, I've seen obviously crazier not gonna lie some of the players in the server definitely can make that work but yeah the sheriff a little bit slightly ambitious but they have two one on fade and one on serona let's see how they make it work it's like a push is the name of the game and whew, Good shots by Zerona off the bat. Forced out with the paint shell and Konichi trapping oh the Zerona still alive. Ugh. Milk rushes them though, does not let them get away with that judge. Fade has to fall back, takes a little bit of damage, exactly 12 points of health. Briar Cliff starting to push up. Ain holding really close. Jump shotgun Man. and Milk Remaining. gets Man. walked free. <laughs> Petuni connecting all the way through. One more, and Milk will get the 3K. Prior Cliff, take round two even easier. Yeah, I, like, like I said, the equipment coming in for this team. Like, like, how do you ob objectively, how do you plan for someone jumping in with a judge on your face being backed up by someone in the far corner holding angle with a guardian and a bulldog? 
BCU just comes up with the the craziest strats early, and it definitely paid off. They don't even need to rebuy to switch off these guns because these guns are strong enough to carry them into the next few rounds easily. Milk actually opting to go for Sheriff full armor this time uh, instead of you know actually getting the rifle. A little bit interesting to see, but mostly just playing that fade information gathering position in this round. But Clark University. Falling behind early, just losing in these skirmishes. Definitely need to shore up soon. Our Cliff is going to try their hand at the A site one more time. Got to say, they have there. stacked their economy perfectly. They're going to have a bunch of money for the next round, whether they win or lose. Of course, Briar Cliff, they have a ton of firepower now, so they are definitely in contention to take this round yet again, despite all five rifles on the side of Clark University. This time, Briarcliff, though, is taking it a little bit slower. They know that they are outshot a little bit with, of course, the five big boy rifles. They're going to try to play this slow and meticulous. Zrona has a very advantageous position. Oh, likely man. catching Konichi. <laughs> yes, they will. Konichi goes down, but Hariri does not let them get away. That's massive, getting the trade off. Great Call coverage, back. yes, absolutely. Hariri immediately in the area. He may call for it. Like, actually really great job covering the one. Now, it's like C is the name of the game. Wide open. Wide, wide open. I'm going to go and run for it. We do see that Kang is in the area holding that corner. Spec something's up. We will get the plant now. So now, we have to see this retake. Briarcliff does have a very good defensive position set up. Mark, he plays aggressively. Oh, Hariri, you can't be missing those, babe. That's not good. Ain will take that first frag in return. But Milk... Once again, up in the corner. Oh my god. And missing the shots. Allows Milk to survive. Now onto the site. It's a 3v3. Even numbers, but it's not even footing. Tony will fall. Milk will get two. Looks for or three. Looks for the fourth, unfortunately. Soup, just a little bit the better liquid in this situation, will get the 1v1. And that's a great defuse. Finally, Clark University on the board. Bit of Vandal Wivich from Milk does not help that round go their way. Clark University does end up with the other upper hand, but they were only able to keep one gun over, which means they're not going to be able to full buy. Meanwhile, Briarcliff, they are looking fantastic. They will have five rifles, all five heavy armor. Clark University only has one full buy, and that's Soup with a Phantom and Heavy Shields left over from last round. Everybody else either has a big rifle and light shields or a secondary rifle and light shields. In the case of Ann and Kong, that's a Guardian and a Bulldog. Right, and it's like you look at the economy from both of them. Both of, This round was expensive for both teams to buy. So going into the next round, the loser is going to be feeling those effects for oh. sure. Oh, wow. Zrona is so speedy. Jet nerfs where? That did a Please lot of damage, there. though. Down to 70 points of HP. Just pushing up. If the timing's right, they might be able to get a freebie kill on the soup. But Hariri decides rather to just hang out and see if that mid player will get hyper aggressive. Seems as if Briarcliff going for the rotate rather than trying to force anything onto the A site. They're just going to make their way up through C Long. And speak of the devil, I was just talking about it a little bit ago. Hariri finally gets that kill, winning that KJ battle. And that gets rid of the Sentinel presence on the defense. Oh my god, Milk was trying to plant Fade with the perfect fadeaway shot. Stops them in their tracks, so that's going to delay a little bit of time for Briarcliff to plant. And Ayn gets a kill as well, gets two. Oh man, these these breach players, I'm telling you, Tony can't get away. We're trying to port out. Zerona will clean it up, but Freight, the big Freight train, 1v2, doesn't have his gun out. Banner just to slip through, he's into the smoke. Dips and dives out, but Zrona will clean him up, thankfully enough. And Clark, back-to-back C-Sight -back wins going their way. A perfect start for Briar and Cliff to that round, but they couldn't hold it out. They had the five versus four. They had C-Sight completely to their discretion. But the Spike Clan are getting a little bit too aggressive, deciding to peek CT. You don't need to peek that. You get that spike down, and you waste as much time as you can. You have everything going for you. But now we're in tied position. Clark University getting two retake wins in a row. And Briar Cliff now starting to dwindle. The economy is not as solid as it was oh, just man. a couple of rounds ago. Yeah, we yeah, have definitely 
all coming true what we touched on in our last round. Winner will be feeling good, loser not so much. I told you, talk, I told you. We we looked at the doc. We said, yo, first game of the day is gonna be real hot. It's definitely delivering currently on this Haven play. And now you see Clark University actually has a setup defense on C because of the fire two rounds. Learning those behaviors, and it will be a trade all the way over on A. Now that's the signal. That's the signal to press that go button. Pushing onto the site. Honey, she looking to take an advantage position, just clearing, making sure nobody's there. Interesting spot to plant, though. Will actually be disrupted by Faye with the Hunter's Fury. Very smart right there. And that's just more time bought for Clark now. A big brain move by Fade as well. Just predicting the un... Not necessarily unpredictable, but the uncharacteristic plant spot. Fade going to win out the breach battle. Briarcliff is in a really nice spot. Hariri kind of sandwiching the Omen and KJ in blink. This kind of forces Clark University in. That's this is not the fight that they want to take. Konichi is going to land themselves a third. And Milk ends this round. Briarcliff, oh after God. a slow stint, they get themselves back under control. Well, uh, it's safe to say uh, Milk is on it this morning. Woke up, chose violence. Had a pretty decent day yesterday, I would say. Not always at the top of the t standings, but was always a m strong presence for this BCU lineup. Though you mostly saw Freight and then Kanichi and Tony really playing strong yesterday. But Milk, in this game in particular, has been playing immaculately. Aside from that one little plant blunder a few rounds back, they've been they've been taking point they've been taking priority in a lot of the plays here and it's really really great to see so well, hopefully briarcliff can keep this form up if they want to take this one it is the best of one so you only get that one chance that's true no second chances no best of three if you lose this game you lose the entire match there's no second map there's no third map you lose you're out of here better luck next time briarcliff Looking like they kind of half went to go see, but they decide to against it. Of course, Clark University is on a save round. Soup, though, holding in this corner. This has potential to be massive for Clark University. If Briarcliff take too much time, Clark could absolutely get away with a dub in this round four. Oh God, round Soup. six, sorry. Oh, oh my god, Soup. He is staying firm. Even though the rest of the team is rotated away from them. <laughs> like, hey guys, they're going see, I think. Completely blind. Oh. Zrona did not have a high chance to make that work. Kang gets taken out too. Kanichi gets two. Milk will not be left alone in this. Soup from the backside, only with the classic, trying to make something happen. Unfortunately, not enough. And now the team is all going towards them. They're going to rush him down. He's not long for the world. That's a flawless round from BCU as they take down every single member of Clark. The timing was simply not in CU's advantage right there. Briarcliff, they chose the perfect time to push all of the utility onto site and make their move. Clark University had no way to defend against it. Thanks in part due to the gun difference. I mean, we saw Soup yeah. running around with a classic. Meanwhile, Briarcliff, they had everything they could ever want in life. So an unfortunate way for Clark University to lose that round. I would have prefer for them to get at least one or two kills but sometimes things happen still a long game ahead of them we're only halfway through the first half that we are so now with, with a few better guns potentially clark can take this out is yeah zorona okay that's a great 1v1 one one right. to get take down that killjoy and a lot of the utility oh no kang actually living i will fall Last will fall standing. right right after and fade once again. Quiet That's of his team is gone. Oh. <laughs> As he gets a little sprightly, Kanichi. Now this is suddenly doable. Now th this is actually a lot better of a position. I'd rather take a 1v2 than a 1v3. Especially when both of the players are just chilling down right below the window. Oh my goodness. He has Owl Drone, so he could... Out the top if he wanted to. He's going for Caps and uh, he gets gets Tony, but Milk will clean it up, making sure everything is good. 
5-2, forcing Clark University back to another save round. And Briarcliff so far winning three in a row. See sight, first couple times they went there, it has not worked out for them. But ever since, Briarcliff has made their way onto the site. And really nothing that Clark University can do can stop them. I don't think that the Sheriffs and Stinger will be the loadout to do it. Briarcliff should, I repeat, should knock on wood for Briarcliff's <laughs> sake have an easy round to win. But last time this was an eco, Briarcliff did struggle for the first like 45 seconds or so. So right, anything right. could happen. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a lot more volatile than it looks on paper as, uh, oh, ain't up in heaven. The sheriff will unfortunately miss. Does gather some information that you, most of the team is on this A site. We do see Hariri hiding in mid. Oh man, yeah, oh no, Zrona doesn't get the shots. We've seen him be very accurate on the Sheriff before. Unfortunately, not this time around. It needed to go perfect and it did not. Clark's now to put some on the hard back foot. Ain is still up top, still hiding up in heaven, trying to make something happen. Meanwhile, everyone's sitting right below him. Kanichi, perfect corner position. Not perfect enough as Ain actually jumps down and gets the Sheriff shot. The reposition is not great enough to make too much of a difference as it is only down to two. Fade will get the kill with the Stinger. No, someone else is still there. Trades for another one, but Milk once again the savior of the A site. Fantastic show of heroics there from the Sova. Fade getting a couple kills with the Stinger, stripping some guns and beautiful. Worth its weight in gold creds off of Briar Cliff. <laughs> Anything to get Briar Cliff a little bit worse than they were is a win in my book. No one was expecting them to take that round, but Fade did a wonderful job stripping away a lot of money. Oh, absolutely. And now, once again, it's a round full buys across the board. Clark University falling down by four. Gotta make this work. Economy is about even. Uh, at least in this round, but they have to, they, they have to, I don't want to say, you know, just completely force the issue, right? Because, like, if they just completely yeah. run and gun and try to out-muscle Briar, they will get dropped immediately. It's, it's, Kanichi is just too accurate with this fans in this game. It's just, and Milk always be playing the backside, being clean up king right now. It's just not a good idea just to bum rush on the side. So holding these Make, taking that time down, playing these long defenses like you see split up through B and C. Nobody at all on A. Closest one you can see is Fade. But it's just slow it down. Maybe get a few picks. Corona will get spotted now. The Fade ultimate will be used. C site is completely down to Briar Cliff. And Tony decided to take the Hunter's Fury. Interesting strategy, but Haruri gets it right back. Unfortunately for Briarcliff, Jonah is there, gets the retrade. Now it's a three versus four in favor of Clark. That lockdown's not going to help out, but Frey, oh, Frey, if they can just keep finding these kills, it might not even matter. Two versus one, and now Soup will make it a one versus one. Spike is not planted for this lockdown. The lockdown does get done, and it's definitely a skirmish to get onto that spike. Soup gonna try the defuse. Oh, the turret. Gonna the tap turret. It. The yeah. turret lets Got him it. know, and Soup will get the frag. Clark University break the streak of Briar Cliff. Oh my God. And they have done another 1v1 clutch. Soup on C site is a different animal. Yo, that, I'm, I'm saying, man. Honestly, that turret placement saved that round from him. Literally perfect position to give away all the information on where Hariri would be. Just to buy that literal what two sec two seconds of time, so he's able to get the spike diffused to at least half. Oh my god, absolute great stuff! And that's what I wanted Clark University to do. Maybe clean it up a little bit there, but you saw take them to deep waters, make them run the clock down, make Briarcliff have to make those weird decisions. That the, you know they're so clean and precise with a lot of their plays, but if you force them to you know make the ground a little bit shaky, then it becomes a little a lot different of a game and that was very evident in that last round now hard spread a b and c the fights are coming in it's rona hopping kenichi gonna rejoin fade on a site 
don't think they knew that they were there. Simple as that. Clark University with a big advantage. All they have really in terms of entry frag is their fade. So they definitely would have liked to kept their sage. Their raise, excuse me. Just 50 seconds to go. Briarcliff is starting to run thin on time. Milk lands some nice shots through the box. Tony gets one as well. Clark University starting to get this momentum reversed. See sight now wide open into the shadows coming out from Tony. And this will be an easy spike plant. And it's up to Clark University to make this retake happen one more time. But this time they're a man down. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, man. Not, not what you want to see, unfortunately. Shadows traveling. Okay, okay. Let's see. What is the play here? What is the read here? Kang trying to get a sneaky defuse. Milk will save it once again. Fortunately, soup is there. Make sure all goes according to plan. Clark, that's two now. I think the plan for Briar Cliff is just if soup is alive, just stay away from the sea site. Because this KJ has made a castle with the third site. I'm not sure how, but every time that Soup's alive and Briarcliff decides to plan on the sea site, the retake just comes in in the most miraculous of ways. And Clark University, after a hot, after a slow start and a hot, hot streak, they have pushed Briarcliff onto their back foot on the 11th round as well. So they might just have to go into the last round and a half with an eco. Yeah, yeah, that's looking the way it's trending. That's okay, they're gonna hard commit. Oh man, all signs point to A as Hariri and Kanichi making it happen. Forcing that door open. Look at the plant. And we do see Kang is around. Looking to maybe make something happen, but this is such a great angle from Kanichi. Always has had these backsides really, really clean. Oh, him and Tony have that pincer set up. Not exactly watching upwards, though. Waiting for the rest of the team, though. Clark University. Soup is the only one really present here. Peeks out and actually gets the frag out of Kanichi, but he's still in hot water. Trying to be hero here. Not a lot of time left. The rest of his team is still not with them. He's on a solo mission right now. And Hariri will get the frag. Milk getting the credit, though. Not enough time left. Zerona and Kang just saying, all right, it's fine. We'll concede this one. Unfortunately, the 3v4 not in the cards for Clark. That'll be Briarcliff just regaining that stranglehold. Did not say that it Last was a 50. However, Briarcliff managed to make do with a couple of Phantoms and Light Shields. I believe they had a Spectre as well and a uh, Judge on one of them. So I will definitely count it. Clark University making the smart choice, saving up the guns from the last round. That way they can go into round 12 with a little bit better of a shot. Because the economy has been a big part of this game quite a Thanks. lot more than I was expecting, honestly. But that's just the name of this game. The economy has been playing a huge factor into almost all of these rounds. Right, yeah, every single round. And it's... <laughs> It's actually so great to see this, like, level. Um, uh, okay, so. Wait, are they going B? Wow. Yeah, they okay. just bum-rushed it right <laughs> up the B site. Like University did not expect it. They are completely stuck in the water. Yeah, completely caught off guard. I mean, I would, too. Just, I mean, if they've been going A and C this entire game and immediately just decided to flip B is aim. Ring true. Grab him one. Aim. Holding down the line, grabs him to. Okay, Clark University showing they're not down and out. The flash is good. And it results in Ain getting a spicy 3K. And that's why you typically don't want to go B side unless you're on a pistol round because even though Clark University was completely caught off guard, they managed to get themselves Just right back under them themselves, themselves and okay. catch them out. We can go. Once Clark University knew what was going on, Briarcliff was completely shut down and taken out of the equation entirely. Yeah. Oh, okay, the B, the B plant, a little ambitious. Didn't go the way they planned it. Um, so now, <laughs> it's like positioning between A and C. I, d I doubt they try it again. I doubt they try it again. That'd be crazy. I've seen, I've seen crazier, <laughs> but... 
This is the best around, and Clark University might yeah. just might just give it a shot while it's fresh in the mind. It seems like Bradcliffe wants to try a little bit more of a default, more kind of favoring mm -hmm. A. They seem like we have a one one three. Oh, 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 look at look look at look look at Bri uh, Bradcliffe though. This is <laughs> They're fantastic. Pushing up. They're pushing up. Dang. Oh my Dang god. Catches all. Spike down C. Fantastic. Oh my god. I, I love I love the call. I I mean, like yeah, we can maybe push up, catch them before they try anything. <laughs> <Keg's> like, <laughs> let me let me have to watch this corner real quick. Think about that. Spike planted. What a shot from Ain. Tony has a mountain to try to climb to win that round, and they're not going to be able gear. to. Clark University wins yet another round, only down by one this time. And I want to I want to point out the kill margin. I mean, look at how top yeah. heavy the scoreboard is on the Briar Cliff compared to Clark University. I mean, they got 10, 9, 9, 8. Meanwhile, PCU, 10, 11, 9, 8, 3, 20. That's insane. Milk sitting at the top of the table with 20 kills right now. Absolutely insane. This, this player stepping up for Briarcliff. See if they can carry it all the way through to the finish line. No, that's the important. Oh my god, Sue. What a shot. Actual demon time. Big fight in mid. Or the garage doors ain't holding too well. And with the Guardian. High caliber rifle. She able to shoot through. Will get another kill. And now it's, it's literally just milk. We're talking about how great milk has been all game long. Only armed with the sheriff, trying to make something happen, but it's insurmountable odds cause the milk to curdle and sour. Round 14, uh, th thanks for coming and thanks for leaving. That one went <laughs> really, really quick, and now we are on to the bonus round. Briar Cliff can't really buy up the entire way, but honestly, they're kind of more comfortable when they don't have a full buy. Kanichi is completely capable of doing unthinkable damage with a judge. But they just, they actually, they're going to switch off. They're going to switch off of the judge and go with the Phantom. That's a a question for anyone else I would absolutely support, but not Kanishi. Absolutely. Needed. Oh, my God. Somebody get this man off a rifle. Ain is absolutely insane. Ringing true with these Guardian shots in these early in the, in the early round of the switch. And it's just that's two rounds in a row. Opening kills gone their way and now we see Clark slowly crouching up on Seasight. Tony is holding right behind him. Hariri with a very, very particular and efficient shot with the Guardian. One shot, maybe, one kill. Maybe I need to start buying Guardian. I think that's what that's telling me. I, th I think so. <laughs> I would after this. This has been a Guardian clinic this second half so far. Got a little bit of slow in the pace. Four versus three. Clark University deciding to make their way back and then wanting to retry Seasight. Maybe a fake rotate. 40 seconds to go, so they have some time to work with, but they can't dilly-dally for too long. We saw a big trend yesterday of teams wanting to make a play, but just waiting seconds five seconds left. too long. Mm. Okay, interesting choice for Hariri to recall the bot as an aim does not be missing with these guardian shots. Milk looking to pad the stats even more. Back tight with the homie in tow. Gonna try and do a rotate over. Ten seconds left. Bring him down. Have the ability. Prowler goes out. Backside looking true. Double swing, freight and milk. They're gonna make it happen, being the heroes of Briarcliff. Get the you. wipe, share half and half. It's like it's like whenever you split a candy bar with the bestie, you know. Careful here. Getting maximum credits for both. That was so so smart of them to double swing like that to ensure that Briarcliff goes above in this tie situation. And now heading into the next round, I mean, not the best buy they could do, but it's definitely more than what they were working with last round. Clark University all the way full, but BCU I just Damn. can't say the same for. The, they did win the bonus round, but Clark University did a great job of stripping the guns off. Everybody has rifles except for Tony, which, or for, except for Kodichi, which has been known to be a problem for Clark University in the past, because the judge 
can absolutely cause chaos and I oh yes probably I think it will considering C site is there they be, if they're able to get uh, an angle from garage I got a feeling that Briar Cliff Spike might just planted. be able to catch a couple off guard her reread pushing up fade gets completely shut down and Briar Cliff has a massive advantage and now here we go Kanichi judge coming through can't oh, decide where to no. shoot Clark University still in a stressful position. Kang, double kill, the triple is not enough. Soup is the last one left. They know exactly where they are, and they are done. Four kills for Hariri, and Briar Cliff will extend the lead to two. Man. Oh, that... <laughs> that judge play is going to live in my head for a hot minute. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> but yeah, they're up again. VCU, <laughs> Freight. Moving up to the name. The freight train is in town. Hope you got your tickets. Chugga chugga choo choo. My man is coming for that spot. I mean, yeah, sure, Milk is still sitting very, very high on the board with 23 kills, but Freight has definitely been pulling it all together these past few rounds. Now number 17 underway. Briarcliff on the verge of double digits. It's a massive milestone to get to first, as well as it would further the gap between these two teams, which Clark University definitely does not want. Briarcliff is all for it. It'll be another B site push. Oh, no. Luckily able to get one. Honestly, probably should not have even got that one, but they are able to make it happen. Briarcliff. Has to find this retake, but Clark University wisely getting off of the site and deciding to make a more vertical hold. Riri going to push around. They might be able to catch one. And yes, they will. Kang's right there, too. They're no going to catch a second. Way. Soup is you the savior to finally end it. Attacker lockdown Michi. coming out. Showstopper as well. There goes Soup. And A breaking through. Somehow gets the frag. It's Tony. a one versus one, and Tony does not have the time nor the angle. They're gonna try to spray it through. It's already half. There's enough time. No way. They no can't win the way. shot, and the defenders will take it. BCU at double digits. Oh, oh, what a way to get the kill. The bandit in the daylight actually sticking it. Pros don't fake, Tucky. The man is actually insane for that one. After literal bodies dropping left and right, frags traded at the end of the day. The defuse will come in the shade. Oh my God, Briarcliff. First to double digits and that's the way you do it. This is the opening day game of the day, man. All I gotta say, everybody in chat, welcome to the MEC. This is the perfect way to open up the season. Briar Cliff, only three rounds away. Clark University has definitely made themselves a target. But more importantly, they have made themselves an enemy with this Briar Cliff oh, side. Dude, Briar dude. Cliff starting to run away with this game, and Clark has got to find a way to pull this game by the bootstraps and keep this close. Out comes all the ults that Clark University can expend. The lockdown gets destroyed by the Hunter's Fury. Briar Cliff is going to have a harder time at retaking without that ult. Okay. Let's look, we've seen them do crazier. I want to see what they're cooking with. Kanichi looking to clear some angles. Has the judge. Jump shot one. Jump shot two. Connects, but no kill. Hariri will trade back on the Kang and will trade back onto Milk. Tony, buddy. Got a pony up. See what it can get done. Soup lurking in the corner. Time is not on their side. They got to make a move. They got to make it now. Save with a shock dart. Make sure it does not happen. We cannot repeat the same plays as before. And that will be Clark University stopping Briarcliff, putting it back to eight. Man, oh man. Absolutely frantic. Feels like the economy is so weird in this game. Briarcliff winning three rounds in a row, and then they lose one and they're on an eco. Yeah. That is insane. This economy is playing so odd this game. 
I was it really, it really I, I, I went into this game just expecting a battle of defaults. Like the team that played the better textbook Valorant was going to win. That's not what we got at all. We are getting a very unique, out there, just very odd style of Valorant from both of these teams, and it is certainly entertaining, but I'm just confused. <laughs> Confusion seems to be the name of the game, Tucker, because these players, the strats out the window. Brain off, return to monkey, just go full send. It is working very well. Oh, we're gonna pop Tony down. Oh, man. Hariri, that's, that, I'm not working for you, baby. You will get dropped as well. Okay, Kanichi, read it fuse without too much of a problem. I say that as Fade swings around. The transfer is perfect. Gets him a dirty double. Oh yeah, Clark, they're feeling it. You see, you see the after shots coming. That, that adrenaline is pumping. I love the ninja defuse attempt by Konichi. Just deciding to try it. If that if that worked out, that would have been would an amazing make. play. That <laughs> might have just killed the morale of Clark University right then and there. But thankfully, Fade was a little bit too quick. Saw it coming. Got the double kill and into that round. And now Clark University is only down by one with a pretty even buy. Clark University is a little bit more solid and a little bit more balanced with all five heavy shields. Briarcliff, though, with a three and two split. Still five rifles. Yeah. Yep, yep. Still all five rifled. All together. Hariri was close to guessing very well. Can he get the double? No, he will get one traded though. That's still good information gathered. Man down, man spotted. Now Soup forced to rotate through mid. Holding down, holding it just a little bit, tempering it. But we know that as soon as they see each other on site, both of these teams are going to start scrapping like crazy. The call seems to be rotate slow towards A. Milk is over there. So is Kanichi. But them staying, though, they have to They have to anticipate this. They know some sort of rotate is coming. They just have to figure out where, which side it's going to be at. The clock is dwindling down. Okay, there it is. First on the A side, Zerona looking to clear something. Kanichi's still in the area. Paint shell straight down. Ooh, Kang gets tagged, but doesn't die. Well, will die actually after. Wait, did he plant? He got the plant down before he died, though, so that's huge. So now it is the fight to defuse. The rest of the team is called over. The horn has been sounded. Zrona stuck underground, but will take one as he holds his. Walking the side off, needs to dash through. He's up against two ops. He will fall. It is all on Fade. 1v3, make it a two, but it's not enough. To end at the end of the day, Milk will grab the defuse Briarcliff. There. <sighs> they Don't stopped it dead in its tracks. Chaotic round where Clark University was just completely overrun. They were gripping on to the pole with everything they could, but it was all greased up. They couldn't held on, and it slipped out of their grip. Now, Clark University has to regain yet again. Briarcliff, awkward by with four rifles, one of them being a marshal, and Konichi going back to the baby judge. What can Konichi do with this? It's been a few rounds since we've seen a crazy judge play. It happened all the time in the first half, but Konichi with the judge kind of falling off. We need to get that comeback. Okay, once again. Okay, this time Hariri getting the shots with the Marshal. Not as effective as the last round, but now puts things at a 3v4. Kang will be able to get the plant. A lot more healthy this time. No threat of paint shells to take him out after. Hariri watching in the garage. Looking pretty. Kang will get tagged. Paranoia thrown out. Okay, this three squad of Clark. And they hold against Briar right now. As, oh my god, Kanichi jumping over the pot. Jackie Nipple, Jackie Quick. Allowing the kills to come through just as fast. <laughs> Briar Cliff, little bit of gymnastics. <laughs> Get to match point. 12 9, Clark University. And I believe with that round win, that'll put them on an eco as well. Clark University gonna have to fight back from the depths of economic hell. Oh, man. Briar Cliff is just sitting perfectly. Konichi 
with that showstopper in hand. They can't buy a gun, but they definitely can get oh, the guardians. showstopper. Oh, never mind. They have a gun. Okay. Never mind. We're good. Not, nah, okay, that just, that, that just makes it even worse for Clark University, honestly. I mean, <laughs> it's uh, two guardians and a specter. Everything else is fine. But, I mean, you might as well throw everything you got at it. Out comes the old, out comes the big strats in the book. Okay, Zorona, knives out. See how well it works. Looking towards B. Uh huh. Are they actually getting hard commit? The recon dart has been used. I think they want to. No, no, I, I, I don't. Ugh. I want to say there's going to be a call to rotate here. They're just pushing B, you know, just to gather information match point for briarcliff they can stop this clark mm, trying to make a decision here call seems to be slow towards a but you have three members of briarcliff already poisoned ready to strike kanichi once again up in heaven could make a repeat of two rounds ago Blocking sight. yep proud dash oh no oh Throwing gets tagged. Somehow still alive. Blinded. Oh, Fate Ultimate's gonna do so much. And Kanichi, oh! no! Kanichi, no way! Gets the denial, swings around. Give him the three, give him the four. Baby wants it all. Give him the ace. No, it will be denied, but he's done enough. He has done ample enough to get Briarcliff the victory. 13 to nine. What an opening game. What? A round to end off. Konichi deciding to have the round of their life with two kills coming from the Showstopper and two more coming from the Phantom. Nearly the ace, but the rest of the cavalry was enough to get the job done. And with that, Clark University suffers their first loss of the Fall Clash. Crow took them a long time. They got close quite a few times, but eventually the Kings do fall. GG's Briarcliff. Oh my God, look, I, I literally said yesterday after watching the games, there's two teams that I really want to see in this conference just ascend and keep growing because they're such great squads. And we saw them here today, in our opening matchup. Like, Clark is so good. I had just been singing their praises all day yesterday, but Briarcliff, they had that strength of schedule that was not to their, you know, to, to their power, but like opening up today like this, Oh, great things on the horizon for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, the record definitely does not do them justice going into it with a one in three record because, man, this did not play like a team that's one in three. This played like a team that should be undefeated, but they just aren't. It's just one of those things that did not go their way. But Briar Cliff here on day two is here to make a run of champions. They want to get crowned the winner. Absolutely, indeed. And we have more coming up for you guys in a few moments. So I'm going to throw us to a quick little break, get get you some snacks, get you some water. I know I will be, but we have more MEC Valorant to be played right here after this short break.